conditions. That game was subsequently refixed here to Ballyconnell First Ulster Park here in Ballyconnell. Lacken, who play of course in their traditional colours uh, of uh, sky blue and darker blue and they play, well, the team with the awfully colours tricolour, that's Mount Nugent. Mount Nugent line out as follows. In goals, Liam Smith. The two full backs, as this is 13 aside, are Barry Givney wearing two and Darren Hennessy wearing three. Half back line four, Kevin Plunkett in the centre, Tommaso Shea on the left side, Rayfield McEnroe. Middle of the park is Owen Smith wearing seven. He's partnered by Ramon Finnegan wearing eight. Right three quarter, Raymond Castles on the 40, Kieran Caffrey. And left three quarter, Mario Salvetta. Inside forwards are Mark Dunn wearing 12 and Liam Hennessy wearing 13. Lacken will line it as follows. Their captain is Porik Sorahan, he minds the house. The two full backs, Peter Moore wears two, he's partnered by Shane Finnegan, who wears the number three jersey. Half back then on the right side, Carl Riley. In the centre deck, then Brady. And on the left side, D- Daniel Shanahi. He wears six. Seven is Stephen Brady in the middle of the park and his partner by Niall McKeonan who wears eight. Right three quarter Connor Finnegan and the 40 wearing number 10 is the red haired Liam Highland on the left side, Owen Donoghue. The inside forwards wearing number 12 is Fergal Brady and he's partnered by Tomas Brady wearing number 13. Seamus O'Connell, the man from Counter Ross, is the man in the middle. He's the man in today, he's in green and black. He'll be the man officiating. There will be a couple of changes, man marking no doubt being done. And we will let you know when we know. Interest to note Fergal Brady there. He's probably about six foot four. He's back inside. Been picked up. I just don't know by which Manugian defender. I believe it's uh, Barry Givney. And there'll be a little bit of getting to know you, no doubt, out in the middle of the park. Seamus O'Connell is checking the clock. He's checking with his linesman. He's checking with his umpires. Gabriel Kogan is down this side. He's obviously a mentor on this side of the pitch. She's up and she's on, folks. Ball broke down. First man out is Stephen Brady. Stephen Brady driving her inside. Trying to get her to Moss Brady. To Moss Brady picking it up. He's dispossessed. It's getting... Heavy shoulder there from Darren Hennessy. Hennessy there being tackled by Tomas Brady, but trying to get it across. Liam Hailing getting a touch on it. Eventually it comes to Owen Smith. Owen Smith to Kieran Caffrey. This time he hits it on the right foot. He sends it upfield. He sends it up to his number 11, Mario Salvetta. Free is going to be taken. It will be taken by Kieran Caffrey. Kieran, of course, the younger brother of Ronan. He'll be the left, predominantly left footed player. He goes far side of the field to Owen Smith. Owen Smith, Kieran Caffrey advancing down. He had one has the other off to his shoulder, giving it out to Hennessy. Or rather to Caffrey. Caffrey going to hit this one on the right foot, blocked down. But it comes back to Hennessy, or rather Caffrey. Caffrey kicks it on the left foot. It stays out to the left and wide. Good block there by Lacken. Rather for has bounced back into Kieran Caffrey's hands. But on the second attempt, uh, one would have thought that Kieran from that angle would have been able to get her over. But it just stayed out to the left and wide. First minute of the game. First kick out for the captain, Porik Soran. Good drive, 60 yards out, up they go, ball breaks, Stephen Brady picks it up, still Stephen Brady takes the one hop, taps it across to his midfield partner, partner has it now, McKiernan, still McKiernan, been tackled by Owen Smith, in on the left foot, good drive in, dangerous ball, keeper slaps it out, dangerous ball there for the first time for keeper to handle the ball and Manujan are coming out with it, here comes Tomas O'Shea, still O'Shea, he's sending it up, Getting it back up there now towards Owen Smith. Owen Smith has a, an inside man with him. Ramon Finnegan. Here comes Finnegan. Finnegan still coming through. He's still coming. Ramon Finnegan, his midfield partner. Taking a look inside, trying to get her inside. But it's well blocked down. Lacken man there coming out with that one. The Lacken centre half, Declan Brady. Declan Brady taking a look at his option. Getting out to Liam Highland. Highland has it. Highland's going downfield, far side. He lets ball do work man down for Lacken. Ball breaking. Trying to lift that one, fancy was Owen Donahue. Instead, he goes to the old tradition route, gets it back inside. That's going to drop in towards the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper takes it. Man that kicked it in was Connor Finnegan. Ball cleared back out to Owen Smith. Up and at it is Stephen Brady. Looks to be backing up on all fours. Ball comes up towards Ramon Finnegan. Finnegan has it. Takes a look at the options. Sends a nice little shovel pass, but it's going to be low on the ground. Comes to Tommaso Shea. Still Tommaso Shea. He goes far side of the field. Over towards Salveda. Salveda is dispossessed, gets it back at the second time of asking, but still being well shadowed by the lacking defender. Back inside it comes, but it's going to drop for Declan Brady. 
Dr. Brady, he's going far side of the field, he's going to be close to the line. Let's just see how it works down. Rayfield coming. Rayfield McEnroe is there in a foot battle, in a battle there, pitch battle with Conor Finnegan. Finnegan sending it far, far side of the field, ball into space. First man out in front of this one will be Hennessy. Hennessy picks it up. Hennessy drops down, falls underneath Thomas Brady, gets it back outside to Owen Smith. He'll be very much the playmaker on this Man Nugent team. Still Owen Smith jabbing it forward towards Finnegan. Finnegan not getting it, gets it at the second hem of Askin. Gives it back now to O'Shea. O'Shea getting it back in, driving it in towards Caffrey. Caffrey going to try and get this one, but shadow on him is Declan Brady. Declan Brady be given the job of being on Kieran Caffrey today. Kieran Caffrey, of course, played in the junior championship final where his team lost to Drone. Caffrey still has it, shimmies, trying to get it onto that favourite left foot. Still getting it to it, but been well tackled, been over carrying. Looked as if it was a tug on the jersey there, but Seamus O'Connell says no way. Ball coming downfield. Ball coming back down, but intercepted there. Ramon Finnegan able to get to it. Instead, it comes to Ramon Finnegan. Ramon Finnegan getting it back inside. Nice pass into Owen Smith. Now it's back in number 12, and he turns around. I'll just tell you his name now in a second. Turns, shoots. And it's gone out to the left and wide. The number 12 was Mark Dunn. Mark Dunn looked to have the chance there, but he didn't pull the trigger. And when he don't pull the trigger, Parik Soren advanced out, made it awkward for him. Eventually, a rush shot out to the left wide, two wides from Manugent. They play uphill. And once again, we have a man down for the Lack and Joe Crows. And the man that's down, I believe, is Niall McKernan, big tall midfielder. Parik Soren has the ball in the small parallelogram. Or he's prepared to take his kick out number two from that area. So two advances for Man Nugent, but so far they've come up empty. That chance really well, they should have come away with at least a pint, but in fairness, Parik Thorhan quick to leave his line and uh, cut out any clear and certain danger. Liam Highland at this point in time, what he will say, is leaving the 40-yard spot and coming out more or less as a third midfielder. Eurick Riley, John Duffy on here. They're obviously mentors with the Manugent lads. Not just sure how Niall McKeown is, but he's certainly down a while. Stephen Brady was down at an earlier stage. Left ankle, I believe, is what's given bother. Sorohan prepares. This ball will probably come out the right side. I would imagine will drop into O'Shea and Highland country, possibly maybe even Stephen Brady, Ramon Finnegan country. We'll see. Sorohan gives the hand signal. Now let's see where we're heading for. Yes, indeed. It's just going to come out between O'Shea and Highland. They all up. Ball breaks. Ball going to come for Owen Smith. Still Owen Smith. Owen Smith sending it back in. Caffrey didn't see it coming and turning his back on it, but eventually in there. To Raymond Castles does well. Still Castles getting it back out to Caffrey. Caffrey, but before that, Raymond Ca Castles had gotten the free, and now it'll be an opportunity for Owen Smith. Not an easy free to start on. Probably 42, 43 metres out. Does suit a right footed kicker. It is slightly uphill. The wind seems to be, but there doesn't seem to be a wind factor today. Ju judging by the tricolour on the far side of the field. Smith sends her high, sends her right. Will it go all the way out and wide? Its ball is broken. Lacken player breaks that back in. But Lacken, well, a little bit of sixes and sevens there. That ball broke, possibly was going wide. But here come Lacken downfield, downfield. Ball sent down in the corner. First ball in there now towards the big number 12. Uh, uh, rather, Fergal Brady, but it's been cleared in there by Givney. Givney trying to get a hand but not able to do so. Now it's to Moss Brady. Mossy Brady tumbles it up. He's been marked by Hennessy, getting it across. Dangerous ball in across the top. But back inside, dangerous ball. But Finnegan plays it past to the goalkeeper. Out it comes, out towards Owen Smith. Owen Smith has it. Liam Highland is chasing, but it's still Owen Smith. He's trying to hit a cross field diagonal ball over towards Castles. But it's well won there. Declan Brady sent that ball in there to Carl Riley. Carl Riley, the man originally had done well. Still Declan Brady sending her in there towards Tomas Brady. Hennessy there. Hennessy getting a hand to it. De Still Darren Hennessy. Hennessy getting it back out to Kieran Caffrey. Kieran Caffrey slows the thing down, getting it over towards Tomas O'Shea to Owen Smith. Owen Smith back to Tomas O'Shea. The couple of fellas who've played adult football starting to show a little bit there. But that ball is not well kicked and it's going to be intercepted in there by Niall McKeown. And McKeown, the man, just after getting injured, is back up and he seems to be okay. Left-footed kick outside of the boot. Good ball into Brady. Brady being tackled by Hennessy. And this will be a chance. And I would imagine Tomas Brady will be the man here to open all scores. Probably going to take it himself. Flicked it up nice. But full marks to Niall McKeown who hit a nice ball into space. First time. Didn't even think about it. Bang. Free. This should be the opening score.
That's exactly what it is. Ball kicked high and straight and over the bar. First blood to Lacken. They lead a point to nil. Four and a half. Well, the seven and a half minutes on the clock. Liam Smith making his way out to take his first kick out of any description today. So Lacken so far have no wides. Manugin have two wides, but Lacken will be the happier. That was their first real attack, and they have it over the bar. Referee wants everybody outside the 20 metre line. Smith drives her out. Little nudge in the back. Winning the free there. Owen Smith. Tommaso Shea has it. Is he going to go far side? He's going to head it over to Henna or to Caffrey. Kieran Caffrey. Still Kieran Caffrey. Been shadowed there by Declan Brady. Still Kieran Caffrey. Rounds him. Has the jersey tugged. Gets a bit of advantage there. Sending her in. But that one's going to be low and out to the right. Three wides. Three wides to Manuge. And that one is just not a great effort. Had gotten the jersey tugged. Got the advantage. Rounded around. And the ball just stayed out to the right and wide. Out we come from Porik Soran. Drops out of the middle of the park. Ball broken there and drops for Highland. The man that broke it was McKeown and Highland sent her in. Nice ball down. Down in front of Tucker. Tucker has it. Tucker rounds Hennessy. Still Tucker. It's still Tucker has an opportunity. Here's a man inside him. Sending her in. This time he kicks it over the bar with the left foot. But inside him lurking was his partner. Inside was Fergal Brady was inside. He didn't see him. He elected just to tap it over. Two points to no score. And that all coming from... Well, what should have been probably a point on the other side. So Lacken already two attacks, two scores. Manuj and three wides. Ten and change gone on the clock. Liam Smith to the 20 metre line for the second time. Smith swings, sends her out, they're all up. Highland is up, but he leaves it for McKiernan. McKiernan fearing it unchallenged. Gone back up on far side of the field. Owen Donoghue. Owen Donoghue picks her up. Tries to shovel her in there towards Stephen Brady. Stephen Brady doesn't get it the first time of asking. But a good challenge in there now by Tomas O'Shea. Tomas O'Shea shielding the ball with the body. Inside is O'Shea giving it back outside now to Givney. Givney has it. He goes far side of the field to Owen Smith. Here comes the challenge. But well run by Niall McKiernan. McKiernan takes it. And a big McKiernan has it on the left foot. Is it going to be over the bar? It's off the post. And danger is averted there as Givney takes the rebound. But that was a little bit more... Alertness there and they would have had it. Ref advantage is given by the referee and now here come a, a lad off there for Manujan. But Manujan now are on the attack. But that was certainly a let off. Ball was heading over the bar. Ball up towards Kieran Caffrey. Kieran Caffrey picks it up. Has it as Kieran Caffrey. He's trying to send it back inside to his inside line. Inside and it well worked inside there by the Manujan corner forward who has it in there. Hennessy has it. Still Hennessy. Hennessy kicks it on the right foot and Kennessy kicks it over the bar. That's a good score from Liam Hennessy. He got a good ball from Caffrey. But it all came from Barry Givney. Barry Givney was alert there. Took that ball off the post of the upright. The right hand upright as that ball came down. Eventually, Manujan walked it upfield. And Givney is down. Don't know where he took the knock, but he is down. But uh, certainly good ball from Caffrey. Walked it off to Hennessy. But Hennessy had a lot of hard work to do after he won it. Got it inside. Tapped it across field. Went across the 20 metre line basically. And turned shot straight over the bar. Black spot. Two plays. One. Twelve gone. Sorohan to the 20 metre line. First time this afternoon. Bit of a break in the action now as Barry Givney has been attended to. Left ankle, I believe, maybe is the problem. Seems to be okay. Little bit gingerly on the feet. This ball, I do believe, will land down probably on top of Tomas O'Shea and Liam Highland. Possibly coming in across this one will be Owen Donahue and his marker because this man can hit her. But she's going to drop down, well, just a bit shorter Highland and it's going to drop with Stephen Brady. It's well fielded by Stephen Brady. Stephen Brady is nudged, wins his free, takes a look at the options. Looking to go down towards Tucker, instead goes far wing and far side of the field. 
Fergal Brady had it, Fergal Brady won it, Fergal Brady gave it back, and he gave it back to the man that was fired, that man is Niall McKiernan. Now it's Tucker, Tucker Brady has it, Tucker Brady still has it, still Tucker Brady going to turn on his left foot, try and send her over, that's exactly what he does, turns, sends her over the bar on his left foot. So far, three plays one. Tucker has all three. He is one on the right foot. He is two on the left foot. His feet are as good as his grandpa's orations. Quite capable at the moment. Ready to go to the... Liam Smith goes to the 20 metre line. Liam Smith waiting on a ball. One wonders why Lacken are not driving one in there. As Aidan Waters goes past us, of course we wish Aidan the best of luck tomorrow in the Athletic Grounds when his Gales men will be looking to go to the Ulster final for the first time in their illustrious history. Aidan, of course, a child of 1962. Liam Smith again, but no, he's... Trying to steal a year, his good lady is, but unfortunately not going to work with me. Same year's Chelder, Liam Smith with the kick out. Driving her out left side of the field. Out they go. Ball breaks. Ball going to break here now. Foot race is on. Winning the free there was Rafi McEnroe. As he judged to have been held back there by Lackens Connor Finnegan. Ball in. Getting the ball in there now. Raymond Castles. Raymond Castles and Niall Carl Riley. S Winning a free there is Raymond Castles. He got the nudge from Declan Brady just at the wrong time, according to the referee. Caffrey goes quickly inside. Gets it back inside. Back inside it comes to Ramon Finnegan. Still Ramon Finnegan. Back to Caffrey. Caffrey sells the shimmy. Sends her in high and he sends her to the left and has just gone to the left and wide. In fairness to the lack of defence there, they didn't buy into it. They kind of seem to be playing a kind of a blanket across there and they're making it difficult. But certainly one wonders if they get any bit of ball into Hennessy. Just judging by his first score there, it was a good score. But uh, not a lot of the ball got in there quickly at least. Lacking on the other hand, they seem to be driving first time ball in. Sorohan comes out right side of the park. Up they go, both men missing her. Here comes Highland. Highland comes, gets the nudge. Hennessy has it, Darren. That's the defender. He's sending her back inside. And now it's... Salita has it. Still Salita on the left foot. Salita sends her high and Salita sends her over the bar. Gives us a little Italian wave. 15 minutes on the clock. Three plays two. So Nugent coming to life now in the last two or three minutes. They're just living on scraps on that occasion but the ball went in. Ball broke. Mario did well. Mario hit her on the left foot and he sent her over the bar. Once again, Porik saw her into the 20 metre line. Good kick by Soren. Down the field they come, but O'Shea takes it. And O'Shea leaves it behind him and drops for Highland. Highland goes back inside. Givney in the foot race. Givney in the foot race and Givney wins it. He comes out and he comes out the only way. Givney knows how to. And he sends her outfield, but it's not a good ball. And it comes across to Moss O'Shea's head. Drops for Highland after good work by McKiernan. Hennessy comes with the shoulder a little bit high, but it misses. Inside towards Tucker Brady. Tucker Brady is inside now being marked by... Still Tucker Brady, the ball dropped off him by Owen Smith, he gets it back inside, now it's going to be all on his own, a chance for Donahue to send it over the bar, but Owen Smith blocks her down and blocks it down valiantly and brilliantly. Inside it comes, McKeon and sends her in high, and off the post again, it comes dropping again, and it's going to be an opportunity again, and it's into the back of the net there, good goal from Conor Finnegan, he turned, he was blocked down, he couldn't get a shot in on the right foot, he turned, hit her off the lace of the boot and hits the underneath of the crossbar, back of the net, Conor Finnegan. 1-3 plays 2, Owen Smith trying to play all positions, he was back in on Tucker Brady, he dispossessed him, he got the ball back out and he blocked down the kick, back in it went to McKiernan and McKiernan's fist attempt didn't make it over the bar, hit the post and unluckily for Manujan on this occasion they weren't quite as lucky as the last rebound, this one dropped kindly and Conor Finnegan smashed her home, 17 and change on the clock. But one would have to question Owen Smith, they're probably they're one of their best players. He's come back in in the full back line to try and cope with Tucker Brady. Ball breaking there and it's Donahue has it. Donahue has it. Donahue been tackled and it's back out to Tucker Brady now again. And he's been coming to meet him as Owen Smith. Owen Smith still meeting him. Sent high and sent over the bar. Advantage goes. Tucker Brady sends her over the bar.
Oh, Liam Smith making his way to the 20 metre line. Seven plays two. Lacken should just be wary of one thing. Manugent do never lie down. They don't know when they bet. Out, Liam Smith will come again. And this game, of course, is about, well, about 12 minutes to go to the half. Certainly now, Manugent just to get a little bit more cohesiveness. Get it together a little bit. Lacken, of course, would have entered this game as favourites. Smith prepares to take the kick. And as is traditional with Lacken, they have quite a lot of big men. Smith sends her out. Up they go. Ball breaks off the hands of the goal scorer Finnegan. Drops for another Finnegan. No relation. Out it comes. Carl Riley is out in front. Finnegan is out in front. Gets a nudge in the back. The goal scorer, as we said. And he goes with a quick free. Uh, down to McKiernan it comes. McKiernan has it. On the left foot. Being tackled by Tommaso O'Shea. Still McKiernan on the left foot. He's going to try and send her high and send her straight. That's exactly what he does. And he sends her over the bar. Good score. All came from Conor Finnegan, the goal scorer, because he was won his free. But when he won his free, he elected not to do the simple thing and drop the ball. He went quickly across the heads to McKiernan. McKiernan, two solos, two hops, bang, black spot. Six, seven, eight points plays, two, 20 gone. Manuja now need to batten down the hatches here. Just to stop stop the rot. Smith goes out right side. Caffrey up. Ball breaks. Dropping inside. It comes off McKeon there. He shovels it to Stephen Brady. Stephen Brady going first time far side of the field. Back inside it goes. It's going to go all the way back into Brady. Fergal that is. Fergal has Finnegan. Connor outside him. Has an opportunity to kick her over the bar. And that's exactly what he does. Thought it might just tail off to the left. It didn't. It was a good score. Finnegan kicked her well. Kicked her high. But again, good work. Far side of the field. Stephen Brady has to get full marks there. Releasing the diagonal ball. Manugin player unable to get to it. Rafi McEnroe ball went across back inside. Finnegan has a goal and a pint from play. Out to come. Smith has her out. Hennessy going for it, but Hennessy out now operating in the middle of the field. But McKeonan has it. He gets it across there now to Daniel Shanahy. Shanahy has it. Shanahy has it. Shanahy's fouled. It's going to be taken by Highland. Highland takes it. Highland going far side. He's going to send her back inside towards Fergal Brady, but it's picked up inside by another Hennessy. The first scorer, and he's going to get a free from where she landed. Caffrey takes it inside. He getting her back inside. Mark Dunn. Still Mark Dunn. He's dispossessed back inside by Shane Finnegan. But Mark Dunn has it again. Still Mark Dunn. Mark Dunn sends her high and Mark Dunn sends her to the right. And he sends her wide. He had two Manugent men coming back in inside. A man down there. Doesn't look to be a good story. Left leg or left ankle of Shane Finnegan seems to be given bother. But certainly inside Mark Dunn had that ball. Had an opportunity and had some men peeling off him. But he elected to go for the score. Hit her hard. Hit her high and hit her right and hit her wide. 22 gone. It still plays two. I do believe that at this point in time, Lacken have still to register their first wide. Manugent, they have five, and therein lies the difference. No, the boot, I think, is down, but he's putting the boot back on, and I think he's going to be okay, is Shane Finnegan. Certainly Lacken look very strong in this Division 3 competition. Division 1 league team, Division 1 championship team. and They just seem to have too many guns here for the, well, the Division 3 side. Manugent who play, of course, their adult football in that same division, Division 3. Sorohan goes quickly. Getting it back outside, maybe not just as quick worked out as well as he would have liked but certainly there's a major recovery there from the full back as he went and caught that first one ball well attempted to be broken there by Darren Hennessy unable to do so because Niall McKiernan got it he kicked it out to the left and out and across the line ball line ball Man Nugent and the taker this time I believe will be their number four Kevin Plunkett looking for shorter options he's going to go back inside going to cross everybody's head Declan Brady not getting it was going to drop in between Ramon Finnegan Ramon Finnegan is foul free in 
Darren Hennessy would be the taker. He takes a look at the options. Caffrey's going back inside. Caffrey has it, feeds it well. Still Caffrey going to go into the onto his right foot, trying to get her inside, but it's back in there now. But he punches it back in. Goalie comes out. Keeper lucky there to not give a free against himself because he really went for the shoulder when the shoulder really wasn't on. Back inside, Rafi McEnroe does well. He, in turn, gets it to Ramon Finnegan. Ramon Finnegan gets it to Tommaso Shea. Now it's Tommaso Shea. He has Hennessy in support. He's going to go back inside. That's not a good ball. It's going to put Mark Dunn under pressure and it's going to drop nicely for Niall McKeon in the simple pass there was Darren Hennessy who was wide open. Salita tries to stop McKeon unable to do so. Stephen Brady has it. Stephen Brady sending it back inside. Here comes Shanahi. Shanahi has it. He's getting it back in now to Stephen Brady. Brady's still on the run. On the run is Brady inside. He has Fergal Brady looking to go inside. But his kick is blocked down. Dick Darren Hennessy has it. Hennessy gets it to Plunkett. Plunkett a high pass down towards McCaffrey. McCaffrey feels it. Still McCaffrey. McCaffrey going to go on his right foot in across the top and in across the top it comes Don has inside but back inside is Declan Brady Declan Brady averts the danger it was important to do that because looking inside there was Ramon Finnegan Brady getting it back out to McKeown and inside McKeown the fisted pass back outside overlapping he gets it out to Shanahi Shanahi to Highland Highland is fouled he's fouled by Kieran Caffrey a black tick there around the neck Highland is okay, he seems to be okay. Take more than that to stop a Highland, and it's going to be taken by, I believe, Niall McKiernan. Outside left boot, comes in down George Tucker country. This time, Smith's out front and centre, and he has it out front. He's getting it back upside to Tommaso Shea. He's going to send it back inside, and now it's a good ball out in front, but the ball is, the pocket is picked. But it's going to come back inside. It's going to be kicked on the right foot. And it's going to be kicked high. And it's going to be kicked straight. And that's a good score from Ramon Finnegan. That's a good score. And it was good work in there by, I believe, Raymond Castles, who broke that ball. Looked as if he had lost it, but he kept battling. Ramon Finnegan was alert, picked it up, and was able to get round his man and kick it from an awkward angle. High, straight, and right. And it was over the bar. And on the clock, we have 25 and change. Parik Sorohan again to the 20-meter line. Their captain. His team lead by six. Nine plays three. Out right side. Ball broken by Darren Hennessy, but it will be a line ball for Lacken. Niall McKiernan. Outside of that left stick. In it comes. But Owen Smith has it. Owen Smith loses it. Owen Smith has it back again. Now it's going to be left for Barry Givney. Barry Givney has it. Barry Givney is fouled and it's going to be Kieran Caffrey. Kieran Caffrey, he's going to leave it now and it will be Owen Smith that will be the taker. Owen Smith going across the top. Not a bad attempt. But Highland backs into it. Highland takes a knock on the head, David. In fairness, nothing malicious about that one. Ball comes up to Conor Finnegan. Conor Finnegan. But I... Uh, Kieran Caffrey there have been spoken to but in fairness that ball where Liam Highland backed in he took a knock but I don't believe that it was anything malicious he backed in with two men going for the ball I think Liam Highland's going to be okay a yellow card first of the game Highland is up. Kieran goes quickly towards Highland. Back it comes. McKeon is up. He has an opportunity. He hits her on the left foot. That's a great score from Liam McKeon. Hits her on the left foot. That's the score of the game thus far. Made the score himself. Done the 1 2 with Highland. Highland threw it back to him unselfishly. Took the 1 solo 1 hop. 55 yards out. Black spot. 10 plays 3. 2 to the half. Liam Smith to the 20 metre line. Manujan just getting a little bit ragged now. They need just to gather it. Pick off maybe a score or two. At least stop the other team from scoring before the half. 
they will have that little bit of a hill of an advantage in the second half. They started the better of the two, but they didn't convert their first couple of chances, paying the price perhaps. Up they go. Ball breaks. So Shea has it. He's sending it back inside. Unable to hold on the first attempt. Ramon Finnegan wins it. Wins his free. Inside it's going to come. Inside it comes. Like second time he had it there and has lost it both occasions. Had won it there, Raymond Castles. He had it and lost it. The last time he was able to win it back and get it out to Ramon Finnegan to kick the point. Ball far side of the field. Out they go. This one's dropping out for Tucker. And still Tucker. Still Owen Smith. It's been shadowing there. Tucker Brady. He getting it across inside and it's going to be Owen Donahue. Owen Donahue. Blocked down by Hennessy. That's more like it for Mnugent. Perhaps they get a bit of a heart from this one. Hennessy sending it back upside, but it's well intercepted there by the lack in defence. Going to be sent across field to Liam Highland. Liam Highland, he's going to send it downfield towards Fergal Brady. Fergal Brady is fouled. Barry Givney's a judge to commit the free, and this will be an opportunity the way that Niall McKiernan kicked out, and I presume they'll allow him to kick this one on the left stick. An opportunity before half time to put his side into a commanding lead. They're relieved by seven. This the put. Eight points between them. Just approaching the halfway stage. There will be a couple of minutes, I presume. A couple of players down at different stages here in the first half. Keeper is down, tying the lace in the Manugent goal. He seems to be up and okay. And now it's going to be Niall McKeon trying to get his second point. His first from a place ball, the other one, of course, from play. Taking a look, turning around, sending her high and sending her over the bar. Good score. And I may be wrong, but I'm still wondering. I don't think Lacken have had a wide ball yet in the first half. 11 plays 3. On the clock, we just have 30 minutes. Seamus O'Connell wants her sent out pretty rapidly. Perhaps he's getting ready to blow her up. This time Smith goes out right side. Brady and McCaffrey there. McCaffrey or Caffrey has it. Caffrey outside of the boot, inside. Comes back into Dunn. Dunn unable to hold on to it and lacking her there to avert the danger. Almost looks as if there's an extra man there, but that's good work from Mario Salveta. And it drops kindly for, for Dunn. Dunn unable to get to it. He tries to get back to it, but Finnegan is there. Still Finnegan. He's been shadowed and coming out with it. Pops it out to Shanahan, I believe that is. And now it's across to Carl Riley. Still Carl Riley. Carl Riley comes out across the top. Carl Riley comes out across the top. He retaliates on. Maybe there might be two men getting booked here. I'm not quite sure. All quite harmless, but Liam Hennessy and Carl Riley have been having a bit of an England match from it started. One fouls the other, then there's a retaliation. So let's see how Seamus O'Connell handles it. Not a dirty game by any stretch of the means or imagination, but we'll see how Seamus O'Connell handles it. So Seamus, I would imagine, is going to book the two of them, and then it'll probably be a throw ball, and that will bring us, I would imagine, quite close to the half time whistle. Yellow card each, so now we have three yellow cards, two issued to Manujan, one to Lacken, and Seamus goes to the pocket back with the book and ball up. Hennessy and Niall McKiernan are up for the throw in. Ball breaks, middle of the field. Caffrey unable to get to it. Now it's Hennessy and Carl Riley back there again. Carl Riley is foul, has a look. Goes out far side of the field to Stephen Brady. Stephen Brady has it. He kicks it downfield. Down into Givney Country. Fergal Brady Country is going to be a line ball, I would imagine. To Manugent. Line ball it is. Rafi McEnroe wants it. Not getting the quick one. Hennessy going to take it back over. No, it's going to be left now for Owen Smith. Still Owen Smith. Owen Smith goes outside of the right boot. Back up it goes towards Ramon Finnegan. Ramon Finnegan has it. Left footed kick inside across the head of Caffrey. Caffrey unable to get to it. Stephen Brady back down side of the field in towards Conor Finnegan. McEnroe is there, but Rafe unable for Finnegan on that occasion. And now it comes into Carl Riley in across the top. In across the top it comes. Collision there between 
Hennessy and Highland, but I have to say a completely clean move there. Both players going, and I don't think I think Liam Highland is okay. I think that uh, both Liam and Darren Hennessy are okay, but it was nothing. Only full commitment from two men. Half time whistle goes, and I let's hope that Liam Highland is okay. I think it took him. Saw him taking a look up there, but he maybe took a knock on the leg or whatever. But it's certainly committed play by both players. So we'll be back in the second half. Ready to start the second half. Mickey Joe making his way off the pitch. Ball breaking off McKeon, but it drops for McC Kieran Caffrey. Kieran Caffrey's trying to send her in there towards Dunn. Dunn trying to get to it, not unable to get to it. Back inside. It's cleared out there now, is it? Declan Brady, I believe, is the man that kicks that ball downfield. Down it comes. Comes inside Conor Finnegan. Conor Finnegan dishes it across to the unlock with Stephen Brady. A little bit long for him, but it comes to Carl Riley. Carl Riley has it. Carl Riley has it. Now it's to Stephen Brady. Stephen Brady sending it back inside. Jab pass into Tucker Brady. Tucker Brady has it. Still Tucker. Still Tucker Brady has it. Still Tucker Brady. He sends it back inside towards Fergal Brady. Fergal Brady has it. Going to leave it for Conor Finnegan. Still back to Fergal Brady. Still Fergal Brady back inside. It comes to Tucker. Tucker kicks it on the right foot. He's going to kick it. He's going to turn enough. And it's going to go out to the right and wide. Umpire, a neutral man on the left side as of the goals or the right side as we look up. Had no hesitation. Man from Den said the ball stayed out to the right and wide. So it's 11 points to 3. And that, my friends, is Lacken's first wide of the game. Liam Smith. Small square. Goes out left side of centre. Up they go. Finnegan gets the nudge. Doesn't get caught. And in comes Kieran Caffrey. He sends it down underneath the hands of a waiting. Caffrey down towards Mario Salvita. Mario trying to get, get it up. But he eventually does get it up. He sends her in on the left foot. In across the top. On out coming for this one. Here. The foot race is on. Castles has it. Castles loses it. He tries to shovel it out. But it's well picked up there by Declan Brady. He gets it to Stephen Brady. Stephen Brady, far side of the field, diagonal ball. In it comes there, Fergal Brady. Barry Givney gets it, gets it to Darren Hennessy. Hennessy still has it. Hennessy getting it back to Givney. Givney has it. Givney goes jabbing it down towards Caffrey. Caffrey lifts it on the left side. He's going to cut now back across the middle of the field. He's going to send her in on the right foot. Good ball. In it comes. In it comes to Castles. Castles goes out far side of the field to Salveta. Salveta has it. He's taking a look. He's left footed. He's left sided. He's getting it back out to Caffrey. Caffrey sells the shimmy inside. It comes. Cuts back inside nicely. Gets the nudge. Wins is free. Opportunity now. And now the right footed free taker, Owen Smith, is all the way up where he's playing on Tucker Brady on the far side of the field. So while Tucker may have got slightly quieter from Owen Smith moved in on him, it does take away an attacking threat from a Nugent, a player like Owen Smith playing back in there. And now it's going to be, I believe, it's Ramon Finnegan. We have Ramon on this. It's kicked high and it's kicked over the bar. But that may be Raymond, but we have only Ramon. So on the programme is Ramon and that's where we're going for it. So first blood in the second half to Manugent. Sorahan to the 20 metre line. Sorahan goes out left side. Givney gets the hands to it. Bends the back. He gets the back inside to Caffrey. Caffrey in across the top. Tommaso Shea. Still Tommaso Shea, he's sending on the right foot, sent in, <coughs> back inside, it's coming back inside, and it's going to be cleared out there, but the vain, a danger averted there, Sorohan almost spilled that one, that goal would have really brought Manugent back into this game, they didn't get it, it was good defending back in there, and good cover, I believe the man was Peter Moore, free out. Quick one taken, out towards Highland. Highland goes down towards Finnegan, but Caffrey feels it first. Still Caffrey, he thought he heard the whistle, he didn't hear the whistle. He sends it back inside to Salita. Salita has it, Mario the man, he's fouled. He's getting it back up to Caffrey. Caffrey wants a quick one inside. He has no one inside, he's going to try and send her into Finnegan. He does send it into Finnegan, he rounds his man. <coughs> now it's Tommaso Shea, still Tommaso Shea. Takes a look back to Mark Dunn. 
Mark Dunn sending her inside, but only as far as McCarron and inside. Niall McCarron and inside his own 10, but 10 yards out from his own goals. Outside, far side to Fergal Brady. Givney and Fear Fergal Brady in the foot race. Inside it comes. Givney gets a hand in at the vital time. Owen Smith inside. Owen Smith fouls Tucker Brady, and it's going to be an opportunity. He's going to send her in quick ball inside. Inside to Donahue. Donahue inside, but back inside is Owen Smith. That's good defended by Smith. He lost it at the first attempt. He had been penalised, and instead of crying about it he got back inside one of them. that's not one of his best kickouts and it comes into Carl Riley Carl Riley foot pass back outside getting it to Declan Brady Declan Brady being tackled there by Finnegan inside it comes inside towards Owen Donahue Owen Donahue has it he plays it back inside that's better stuff for Manugent Tomas Shea has it he has now back inside to Hennessy Hennessy is fouled Hennessy looks to be okay not sure Possibly a book in here. I'm not sure. Is he booked? I'm not sure. Liam Hennessy. Is it Liam Hennessy that's down? He's a black book. And Hennessy is up. Seems to have made a miraculous recovery. Quick one is taken. Down to Caffrey from O'Shea. O'Shea rounds Brady. Getting her on inside. Now it's Declan or Darren Hennessy. Still Darren Hennessy. He getting her back inside. He getting her back over to Caffrey. Caffrey sends the shimmy. A good one it is, but he's not fully bought and eventually he loses it. Here comes Liam Highland. Highland has it. Pops it up to Stephen Brady. Here comes the overlapping ball. Declan Brady. Declan Brady has it. Still Declan Brady. Still Declan Brady. Declan Brady still down on the ground. He has it. He gets rid of it over the far side of the field. Free up Lacken. Lacken worked hard for the free. They got the free. Everybody's okay. Free kick. Connor Finnegan. We have a couple of Finnegans on either side. Now it's going to be Niall McKeon, and I'm sure he's going to lift the siege with a long kick. Probably going to be in towards Tucker Brady. Where Tucker and Old Smith are having a right good ding-dong battle since Smith was moved in midway through the first half. McKeonan going to tie the lace, going to eat a bit of time off the clock. We have about four and change gone in this second half here. Linesman here in the second half is the man from Clonkeefe House Hotel, Michael Joseph Hennessy. And here we come now with the Niall McKeonan. Gloves are back on, we're ready for action. Popping her up into the corner. Not a good ball. That's not a good one either. And it's Kevin right back to Lacken. Now it's Owen Donahue. Donahue trying to send her in on the left foot. In it comes to Tucker. But Owen Smith's there. Owen Smith clears her out. Still Owen Smith. Left footed ball. And that's a good ball on the weaker foot. Into Caffrey. Caffrey going to send her down towards Mark Dunn. Dunn trying to get her back up. Unable to do so. Gets it to Salita. Mario. First name. Here he comes down left side. He had the first score of the game from Manugent. Back out to Ramon Finnegan. Still Finnegan. He too has a point. Possibly two. Back across to Kieran Caffrey. Kieran Caffrey getting it across now to Liam Hennessy. Liam Hennessy has it. Still Hennessy. Kicks it inside on the right foot and it goes outside. And it just stays out to the left and wide. He had the first score of the game for Manugent. Good score it was. Referee keeping a tight eye on him and his marker. Parik Sorahan. Drives her out right side. Up they go. Salida up, but McKiernan has it, feels it clean. He drops it. Now it's Salida. He likes, lifts it nicely again in the second attempt. And an attempted block not working. And it's through the hands of Fergal Brady. And here comes Owen Smith. Owen Smith still coming downfield. Pops it up to Tommaso Shea. Still Tommaso Shea. Tommaso Shea inside to Caffrey. Caffrey on the run. Still Caffrey on the run. Getting it inside. Getting a nudge there. Getting a box in the ribs there. And it's probably going to be a yellow card here. I'd imagine for number nine, Conor Finnegan. Let's just see what one referee decides. But uh, certainly it's an opportunity here now. Don't know who's going to take it's going to be. No, it's a black tick, I think, is what I saw. But certainly Owen Smith is towering down through the middle there with ball. Uh, and making a difference here in the second half. He's coming down. He's getting out in front. 
and he's coming down and he's setting the table for his Nugent players trying to drag them in there from down by quite a score it's now 11 points to 4 Finnegan it looks as if he's going to be the taker here looking for his second pint of the second half Caffrey is going to be the taker himself Taps it on the toe, takes a look at the options. Lets her up on the left foot. Stays out to the left and wide. Certainly a score went to Began there. Sorhan, kick out, right side. Ball breaks off the hands of Tommaso Shea. Comes to Highland. Darren Hennessy, there. Unable to get to it first time, does it the second time. Here comes Caffrey now, still Caffrey. Getting it back up towards Hennessy. Hennessy is a little bit long for him. But Hennessy's good walk inside there by Castles. Ball kicked in by Hennessy and kicked over the bar. But I have to say, there was good work there by Raymond Castles. He seemed to have done a bit of blocking off. He allowed a little bit of time for Hennessy to get that ball off the fist. It passed from Caffrey. looked as if it was going to be too long. And it's Manugin again. They have a second score of the second half. And it's now down to a six-point game. Just like a need to just regroup here. Maybe get a point or two up at the far side of the field there just to make sure that this one is home and hosed. Porrick Sora on 20-metre line. Changes wings this time. Up towards Niall McKeown and country. Hennessy and McKeown and in the run. Shoulder into the back. Free kick. Ball's probably going to be moved on now. Talking when you should be listening. So now with the length or with the type of leg this man has on him if he can go but his first his two pints late in the first half this certainly he'll be able to drop it in around the square I would imagine that it'll be in around Fergal Brady country if he doesn't try to pop it to Tucker but I would imagine that Tucker made the run there took Owen Smith out of the equation and this ball is going to hop right in let's say around the dance floor hit with the outside of the left stick one would imagine that's exactly what is hit and that's not the dance floor folks that's over the black spot that's a good score. Fine score. And that certainly lifts the siege. And that free would not have been scorable uh, from where the original free was given, but in discipline on the behalf of a Nugent player. And it meant it was moved up 14 metres and therefore converted. Still wasn't an easy free, but converted nonetheless. Liam Smith, Smith 20 metre line. First score of the second half for Lacken. Just on the 12 minute mark. Ball breaks, ball breaking in the middle of the field. Tomas O'Shea has it. Still Tomas O'Shea. Been well tackled there by Conor Finnegan. He's getting it across now to Barry Givney. Barry Givney rides the challenge well, trying to send it back in. But Owen Donahue cuts it out. Owen Donahue sends it back in towards Tucker Country. Tucker in the foot race with Owen Smith. It's still Tucker. Smith getting the hand in. He's done well. Dispossessed him there first time of asking. Still Owen Smith, but Tucker's doing well. Getting it back outside to Liam Highland. Liam Highland turns. Liam Highland shoots. Liam Highland sends it over the bar. Good work by Tucker Brady. But in fairness, Manu is not trying to make a corner back out of Owen Smith. And he's, without a question today, he appears to be the strongest and best player. Now it's back out to the 20 metre line. So right away, the two points that Manu had started off with in the second half here are got back with... Relative ease here by Lacken, and it looks as if it's their title to take home. They were defeated last year in the final. I don't know which division it was. They're back in the final this year, and here's their opportunity. have to say it's a November day, but it's fabulous weather. The pitch is in pristine condition. Ball breaks. Well broken there by Dunhu, and it's a good ball in back inside, but it's well worked in there. I think it's Plunker that has it for Manugent. He sent it back downfield towards... McCaffrey, or rather Caffrey. Caffrey went down side, but it's broken up by Shanahy. Shanahy has it. He's coming up on the left side. 
Still Shanahan, he throws it across the highland. He's going for a second point in a row. Is he going to have a look? Pops it across. Finnegan sending her in. It's blocked out. Keeper keeps it in play. Smith has it. He's going to go right in across the heads there now. I would imagine trying to get her down towards Owen Smith. Last effort there from Owen Smith getting to it. Back inside by Liam Hennessy. Or rather Liam Highland. Liam Highland is fouled. Pulled from behind there. And an opportunity there. He's fouled by Owen Smith. Owen Smith there just run, running out of steam back in there. I'd say he's trying to do covering for two or three men. Opportunity now. I would imagine from Niall McKiernan. Just to put her out of sight. 13 plays 5. This one's going to stay out to the left. And in fact, it does stay out to the left and wide. Liam Smith prepares to take the kick out as we enter the final quarter of this game. Driving her out. Don't know who up. Ball breaks. Don't know who has it again. Been tackled. Over carrying it. The referee says play on. Said the lads. McKiernan does well. Goes over. Shadows it. Ball going to be moved up to Moss O'Shea going up. Inside it comes there to Hennessy. Liam Hennessy has it. He's going to send her in around the house, in across Castle's head. Free in, and this will be a chance now on the left foot for Kieran Caffrey. An opportunity now to tap it over the bar. So, 13 plays 5, just to bring Manugent's to equal their first half total. They had three points in the first half. They have two already in the second half. An opportunity now for Kieran Caffrey. He... Missed a relatively easy one last time out. This one suits the left for the taker. Let's see how he gets on with this one. Chips it over the bar. Good score. But they're going to have to lift a green flag. Man Nugent one thinks if they're going to have to have any chance in this one. Sorohan out to the 20 metre line. We have 17 and change gone. And we have some subs I believe coming on on the Man Nugent side. Quick one taken. McKiernan has it. Upside to Declan Brady. Declan Brady. Far side he pops it into Donahue. Still Donahue. He's going to go inside. He pops it back inside to Stephen Brady. But it's there for Kieran Caffrey. In across the top to Tomas O'Shea. It looked as if he double popped that one. Liam Highland unable to stay with Tomas O'Shea on this occasion. Tomas O'Shea going back inside. Can can it be held on first time? It's still inside. Big Mark has it trying to pop it out. He's getting it back out towards Hennessy. Hennessy has it. Still Hennessy. Still Hennessy. Can he go to pull it on the ground? And it's going to be out for a 45. Liam again went down rather easily there but he's up and he's okay and it'll be a 45 and I would imagine Owen Smith will be the taker chance was on there Mark Dunn got it just didn't get shoved into the Hennessy a hand got in there from a lacking player and it just meant that they didn't get the, the through pass the ball instead spilled to the ground where Hennessy eventually was forced out wide and now it's a sub on I'm not sure who's quite making way for who here but we'll, we'll let you know when we know Rayfield McEnroe, the man who's been called ashore. Smith decides to chip her in there down towards Hennessy country. Gets it to Hennessy. Hennessy unable to get to it. He's judged to have been fouled. Wins is free. The man that's on now for Man Nugent is uh, Frank Connerty.
Kieran Crawford looking to pop over a second. This should be academic. I would imagine it's looking to bring his side to seven points. That will bring it back to a six-point game for the second time in the second half. Now is Owen Smith going inside into the inside line? Owen Smith possibly going in to full forward. I think that's the move. So I don't know where they're going to get him to play next. Owen Smith got in. He's sent back out. He's gone out onto the 40. Saw an opportunity to pump that one, pop that one short. He didn't. He went long. Caffrey has it. He pops it across to Darren Hennessy. Hennessy gets it back inside to his brother, Liam. The 1 2 is played. Darren has it. Darren loses it. He's going to drop it in around the house. Is it going to go all the way to wide? And it does, in fact, go all the way out to the right and wide. That one had it stayed maybe a little bit further into the left, given opportunity there maybe for a goal here for the Manugin lads. 13 plays 7. On the clock, we have 21 and change. And we have uh, coming out to his small parallelogram there now is in no rush, Porik Sorahan. Out they come, up they go. Hennessy has it, Hennessy loses it through the hands. Touched on the ground, Liam Highland again down. Ball moved in, Liam Highland looked at taking a pop on the head there. Chance for Caffrey, Liam Highland there did go down. I think he may have got a boot across, just a studs or something across the head. I think he's going to be okay, it looks as if he's up and he's going to be fine, but uh, he's a judge to have touched that ball on the ground, but... Uh, Certainly the three times he's been down has been head in, not just not bad head injuries, but he's been hit on the head on all three occasions and once around the neck, so certainly the upper half is getting it today. So Liam Highland is up and he's okay. And now Kieran Caffrey is looking for his third in a row. Taps it on the toe, is going to do his half moon back into the ritual and let's see how it fans out for him. And it's kicked high and it's kicked straight and it's kicked over the bar. Thirteen plays eight. She's in the melting pot now, but folks, seven or eight minutes to go. But I still feel Manuja need the goal. Five points plays two in the second half. Score at half time, obviously, therefore, by doing your maths, was 1 8 to 3 points. Ball driven out right side. Caffrey up. Caffrey unable to get to it. Eventually, it comes back inside there now. Touched on the ground there. Free out. Man down is Mario Salita. Man down. A couple of lads getting involved there. No need for it, but uh, it's just all coming down to the melting pot here now. Mario Salita down, took a knock there, but certainly the player towed it up, but the referee 100% right. He put his hands on the ball before he put the toe to it. Therefore, it's a lift ball. On the clock, we now have 23 and change on the clock. Seven to go, plus whatever the referee in his wisdom decides to add on. Barney Brady sitting rather pensively there or where has he gone to me he was behind me there oh Barney's gone to the line he's gone to tell the referee how to do the job and then O'Shea goes down to Caffrey 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 gets fouled by Connor Finnegan wins his free I would imagine this is going to be jabbed in up goes big Don Don ball breaking off him still done back inside Keeper saved it. Still the keeper. Free out to the keeper. But certainly it looked as if. Ah, I think a lot of the referee is in there. There's a couple of officials in there. Man down. Much ado about nothing. A 
in fairness, I believe both sets of uh, mentors are only going to settle the thing in there, and <coughs> calm heads will prevail. Darren Hennessy, he's 100 yards away, so he has learned. He's not nowhere near, so we'll see what the umpires have to say. John Argy in there. But certainly a mark done went in. He got the opportunity there. He came down with a ball he should never have come down with. It looked as if his leg was, um, well, let's just say it looked as if there was a half chash out there for a penalty. He did eventually get the shot, get his uh, shot in. And the first man to go in there, I think, is Liam Hennessy. I'm not sure if somebody's going to go with him. Now big brother Darren, he's coming back. Just didn't quite settle down yet. Nice way for a Saturday afternoon in November to keep us all going. This is why we pay admission for. It's still going on. Now it's after spinning on again. I hear the whistle of the referee there. If this continues, I would say he's going to blow it up. We'll see what he does. Keeper was back out in the middle of the field. Not sure maybe if that's the place he should be, but we'll see now what's going to happen. And in fairness, we haven't played football for five minutes and there wasn't a decent box thrown. So now we're going back into the captain, Parik Sorohan. I would imagine Parik Sorohan could be in a small bit of bother. He was out in the middle of the field. He looked to be sinned against rather than the sinner, but we'll see now what happens. He's only getting the yellow, so he'll be happy enough, I'd imagine, with that one. Referee wants the white thing. Thrown up, I would imagine, on the 20 meter line. Caffrey has it. Right foot kicked in, out to the right and wide. Sarahan with the kick out. Hennessy fails. Still Hennessy. He wins his free in. He's been fouled. It's going to be kicked in now. Is it going to be kicked in by Frank Connerty? Only time will tell. Or it's going to be Tomas O'Shea. We need to get her in there to see if it's going to be Caffrey. Caffrey sending her in. He's going to send her in. Drop it in around the house. Up they go. Ball in. Back of the net. Back of the net. The goal there. Not sure who got the hand. Was it Sanita? Was it done? But she's in the back of the net. She's in the metal pot now for sure. It's a two-point game. 1-8 plays 1-10. As we said earlier, the one thing you will be guaranteed, two minutes on the clock plus injury time. The one thing you're guaranteed with Mnugent is they will not give up. They're a man down. Doesn't seem to matter. That ball high in. Kicked in. A good free one by Darren Hennessy. Was fouled. One is free. Left it to Caffrey. Caffrey kicked it in. Flicked to the net. Two-point game. Two on the clock. There will surely be about three minutes of injury time played in this one. Change of wings. Out they come. It comes in through to Carl Riley. Carl Riley wins it. Carl Riley is fouled. He has Stephen Brady up it. Popping up outside him. Up it comes. Hennessy there inside. Ball comes in. Now it's Stephen Brady does well. Still Stephen Brady. He has inside to Tucker Brady. Now the Tucker needs to put her away if he can get this one. It's still Tucker. He's popping in. He's going after him. It's, Kieran. it's kicked high and it's kicked out to the right and it's kicked wide. Caffrey went back, Caffrey went for the foot trip. he didn't get the foot trip, but I don't know what he done, but whatever he done, Tucker Brady kicked her out high and right and wide, won't be happy with that one, that was just a chance to ice the game, just calm it down, we have 29 and change gone, we'd probably have about 4 minutes I would imagine, about 
We may we may need floodlights brought in here. I'm not quite sure. Up they go. Ball break in middle of the field. Manujan seem to have it. Getting it back downfield. Salita trying to get to it. Unable to get to it. Free up Lacken. Two men down may have collided with each other. McKiernan and Highland. Poor defeat to be okay, but we'll see what the referee's going to have to say. He's taking a look at the clock. A couple of men behind me here, man, to get home to milk. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, it's a lack and free. It's on the halfway stage. 1-8 plays 1-10. 13 plays 11. Once again, Liam Highland is down. Don't know where he took the knock this time. Four minutes to go, according to Mickey Joe Hennessy there. He's the linesman. Quick one taken. McKiernan, this is the time where he needs to pop one over. He's going to go in, it's going to drop short. Fergal Brady keeping it in play. Free in. Silly, silly free to give away. Opportunity here now. An easy pop over free. Anybody with a left stick. Tucker equally good on both feet. That was an easy pop over free. He goes quickly, sending her outside. Wrong place. <clears throat> not going to be thrown up, one would imagine, but that's not what it's going to be. It's going to be a quick free, and not going to be a quick one this time. It's going to be taken by Niall McKeon and the put. Manugin going to need a goal after this one. So if he pops this one over, either way, I think they're going to need a goal to win it, and maybe a goal to draw, depending on how this free, but it looks a relatively simple one. Sub on Manugin. I think it's Mr. Castles, Raymond Castles, who leaves, and I'm not just quite sure who it is that's coming on, but certainly we're getting to a stage here where this is quite dangerous with the the light or the lack of light. I think it's Dean O'Reilly. Yeah. Send over the bar. So it looks as if it's going to be lack and it's going to hold out. Sub on for Lacken. Damien McKiernan, he comes on. Making way for him, I'm not quite sure. Owen Dunne, who's the man being called ashore. Declan Brady bravely wins a free. All McKiernan needs is to make this ball go dead, go over the bar. Just make it go dead, and I think that might be just about enough. He has the leg to do it. Let's see what he does. Going to steal the couple of yards. He's done that, and he's done it well. He's kicked her in, and he's kicked her high. And it's going to stay out to the right and wide. But the important thing is the ball went dead. Now, it's Smith. He's gone out far side towards O'Shea. Not a good ball, but it's going to come to Owen Smith. Owen Smith needs to come downfield, and he needs to come downfield all the way on his own. Yo. Still Owen Smith. Owen Smith wins his free. Ball moved downfield. Still Owen Smith. About to take the free. He's probably going to head her down to Don Country. In it comes. Carl Riley has it. He transitions it over. Shanahy. Shanahy to Declan Brady. Declan Brady. He's going down right side. Down towards the Tucker man. Tucker rounds Plunkett. Still Tucker. This ties the game. Still Tucker. Inside it comes. Into Fergal Brady. Fergal Brady back in the net. That's game set and match. That's just about it. And that would ice it. So it's Lacken's Division 3 Championship. Sub on. Mel Brady on the field now for Lacken.
But Nugent on the run. In from Caffrey to O'Shea. Still O'Shea. Darren Hennessy outside him. Inside now towards Dunn. Mark Dunn was going to drop for Darren Hennessy. Still Darren Hennessy. Looking to give it to somebody. Getting it across to Kieran Caffrey. Kieran Caffrey sends her high. Sends her straight and sends her over the bar. And that, folks, I believe might be the last score of the match. 2-11 will play 1-9. Five-point game. Lacking to win it. Parik Sarahan, the captain, about to lift the cup. Going to take the kick out. Out she goes. Up it goes towards Conor Finnegan. Conor Finnegan has it. Being shadowed by Kieran Caffrey. Up into the corner goes Tucker Brady. Tucker has it. Back inside. Kevin Plunkett has it. Still Kevin Plunkett. Done well that time. Dispossessed him. Still Plunkett. He has O'Shea in support. He also has Givney. Givney out to O'Shea this time. That's going to be Tomas O'Shea. He's going to go back inside. He's going to go inside long. Inside off the chest. Inside. De Declan Brady has it still Declan Brady Declan Brady still on the ball going out far side of the field eating up some time on the clock giving it back into Shanahy Shanahy has it Shanahy cutting back inside he has Carroll Riley in support is he going out that side no he's going to go long up into space but it's going to be back up all the way for Finnegan Finnegan I believe is the man that has it he has it he's going to go down right side down into space to Kieran Caffrey Kieran Caffrey Kieran Caffrey going back inside towards Dunn Dunn unable to get to it ball hops down in front of Dunn and it goes all the way out to the right and wide. Referee blows the whistle. She's up and she's over. God bless. up to was well and truly got home at half time but the fighting spirit in the second half and came so so close I know it's not much of a consolation of advisors but up tremendous game in the second half and all the supporters and the people over you should be rightly proud of what you've done we had a wee bit of a lead in the second half but thankfully the football shone through in the end when we get to this stage everybody gets a wee bit hated them and we'll all go and leave the game as friends anyway but definitely congratulations to the people over Mount Nugent for the hard work they've got them ready one on the 16 season final so they have a wee bit of silverware now they can go on and look forward to the years ahead because the amount of players they have now and the football they played there today is a credit I'm not just patronising in any way boys it's a credit to you because you've played wonderful football in the second half when the chips are down and that last goal maybe left a wee more comfortable for lacking but it left them a wee more comfortable it left a wee bit harder for you but just fought to the very very end boys and truly from a county kind of board's point of view we thank you for taking part in the wonderful final Seeing that it's a wonderful game of football for us that are neutrals, we enjoyed it tremendously. But people over the two teams, I suppose, adopting a north around here wouldn't be another place to check the heart because it would have been pulping very, very hard at different times during the game. But a wonderful game of football, and you've played your part in making it a wonderful final. And it's great to see it now. As I said, the same about Mount Nugent that mentors win or lose a game, you can always be very, very proud. For number one, you've got the finals, and that's what makes the whole difference. To win it, well, that goes that wee bit step further. But congratulations, guys. Tremendous final, and very, very enjoyable for us as a county board of witness. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we have a man of the match award now, and uh, we had it for Division 2 and Division 3 now. Just don't start guessing by who's getting it. We're giving it here to Matty for holding it. <laughs> 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 
But anyway, the man of the match, he felt, for a little pick by Newton, man, not, not by either Matty or myself, but he found out there was a good few candidates from Nugent. One candidate that felt strong out, especially in the fourth half and late in the second half, was number eight, Neil McKell. <laughs> Also, too, is to thank Elegant Gems because without them, there'd be no Man of the Match award. It's a beautiful watch and should be treasured for the years ahead. Can we have the captain here? Glory be, who's coming as captain. God help us all. And can we have the Nugent captain as well, please? <laughs> Management, Jehovi, Yorick, and John train us all year. Fucking put in an awful uh, like tremendous effort, like and fellas coming to training and everything. Everybody that came to the game to support us and everything. There's an awful lot of effort goes into training and everything throughout the whole year from last February. Just wasn't to be just well done to Lacken. <laughs> just, just got that bit of luck that we couldn't get in the day and there's not much else you can do like that. Just well done. <laughs> I'd like to say hard luck to Renewed and to play the good game and good and hard and up until the last few minutes there anyone could have won the game. That goal proved lucky for us but it was just, it was just lucky really. It was anyone's game. I'd like to thank all the boys, the whole 17 of us has trained fierce hard since then the last January. It's been a long year but it's been worth it. And I'd like to thank the managers, Phil Miner, Fimba Riley, Martin, Gabriel Kogan, Frankie, and Barney, everyone that's been there over the years, all the mothers that's made tea at the training, and everything, <laughs> everything, anyone that's contributed to, to this day, I'd like to thank and three cheers from the new Pip! Hooray! Pip! Hooray! 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 Hooray!